Okay. My wires are starting to touch the top of the gantry. I've never printed anything this tall before. I may have to cut these two tie wraps back here quickly at any moment. So no pressure, downward pressure. It's actually starting to touch right there when it's over there. It's not putting much down any pressure on it. I can tell by pushing on it, but I don't know how much higher it has to go. I'd say quite a bit. Uh, there's foam supposed to be above those slots in the back, so I would still say quite a bit. An adventure. You can see the pattern of the infill when the light's behind it. Can't see it when the light's not behind it. <laughs> well, I did end up cutting the two tie wraps back there and slid that out about another inch. That's about all the uh, slack I'll be able to get in it without other things pulling so never printed anything this tall before so just kind of go with the flow as it presents itself to me okay now I'm getting worried I can't do much more to this I went back and looked and this uh, print is supposed to be 220 millimeters tall and I checked and my printer is supposed to be able to print 250 millimeters tall so it's going to be close it's going to be pushing this printer into the most out there it can do on the z-axis boy 30 millimeters to spare and I just don't trust how a printer works in that area that much oh it's about four or five o'clock got about four or five more hours of printing to do well it's getting more and more scary <laughs> it had to work its way around the top there. This is so near the top of my printing possibilities. And uh, it's still got 200 layers to go. Well, it's finished the slots and it's starting to deck the top of the slots to close the slots up. And it seems to be doing that just fine without any support. It's only got like 68 layers left to go, but boy, look at this. That wire is doing everything on the planet to let this head go high enough, and it has done it successfully, so... Whew. I worried there for a while that the extruder motor there, stepper motor, was going to knock the spool of filament off the top but I think with just what's got left to print that won't be a possibility the print is huge it's still got about an inch to go I mean my poor little printer it's doing wonderful but my poor little printer 14 layers left to go and it's going to bust. <laughs> I don't see how that head could be jerking that wiring around anymore. Uh, somehow whoever did that work must have done pretty good work because it seems to be working. This is going to print exactly one inch less than the full maximum height of this build surface. 
The build surface can go up supposedly to 250 millimeters and this build is 220. So are the next two parts of this fuselage. So this is going to be finishing up real soon here. It's got just a little more in the back above where the slots are to finish out like I say about 14 more layers and then six layers of decking I believe uh, ah, boy. just don't know what to say about this little printer oh my I just came downstairs and it has finished my printer printed it nice little six layer top on it for gluing to oh that's pretty that's awful pretty almost bigger than i can print one inch i had one inch left supposedly in this gantry it's all pooched up there But it worked. I can't believe it. Well, there it is, boys and girls. I'll take the raft off of it. Be a little clean up. A lot of this just comes off by rubbing it. And boy, I think my little printer did a good job printing it. I really do. So this is number two. There's number one. It's pretty good looking if you ask me. Uh, now for the $64 million question. <laughs> Again, that raft printed strangely. Let's get the scale. And there it is. That portion of the fuselage weighs 67 grams. Sixty-seven grams with the 19 of the front. We're up to 87 grams now. Oh man, I did break it. The ribbon cable comes out of the back equipment compartment and goes to the Raspberry Pi camera right here. Doesn't have enough length, so it pulled out. No big deal. Uh, that had pulled out the other day. I put it back in there. So it can't be connected if it goes this tall. Rats. So not really a break. More me joking. Uh, but I wish the ribbon cable was a little longer. So that's the end of printing fuselage two. And so far so good for me. I've got two more fuselage parts that are this size, 220 millimeters. I'm going to make me gray headed before they finish printing on this little old printer. After that, I haven't looked at how big some of the other ones are. Uh, hopefully some of them will be much less than that. I know the fifth fuselage piece is less than that. Uh, the three center pieces are all 220 each. So I've got two more of those to print. All right. I hope you guys are getting something out of this. I've never done this before, so I am. Uh, we'll proceed on tomorrow to printing another piece. 
and it will be close to another two-day print uh, for that uh, piece to come off the printer. Thank you guys.